hello and welcome back to my another tutorial in this tutorial i'm going to share with you how to install a driver uhp laser jet pro mfp m127 fw so in this video i'm going to share with you by step by step how you can set up this driver with your computer so let's take a look how to do that I hope you already unboxed this printer and it's ready for use. So first of all, uh, make sure that you had add some paper in this tray and then later on we're going to uh, put this uh, printer with the plugin. So this is the back side view of this printer and you will see there is a power cable connector and also a printer connector. Make sure that inside box I hope you get already a power cable like this and then also you got a printer connector if it is not you have to buy one to connect or configure uh, this printer with your computer so make sure you have these things and then we will uh, go the second step second step is we're going to uh, plug this cable here this uh, uh, electricity cable and then we're going to uh, put this uh, printer uh, connector over here you will see there is a print over and then and the other USB slot we are going to put in my laptop if we, if you want his laptop you can put if you want a desktop put inside that desktop USB slot just like this and then we are going to turn on this power button so I have turned on my printer you can see I power on this printer and then it's ready for use but we, what we have to do we have to install the driver to operate this printer so for that one thing uh, more that if you uh, maybe inside this box there is a setup file uh, like dvd drive for installing this printer with your computer if one is missing like me or like my one even my laptop not supported dvd drive so what we will do so for that case we will download this driver software directly from the internet so it's going to also be useful for you if you're missing this uh, dvd drive or set a file you can uh, directly download from the internet and you can anytime install this printer now we can see already this driver is downloaded so i'm going to you can click here open folder either you can click here run so whenever you click this run it's going to be automatic run that set of file you can see here is appearing extracting so after accepting 100% it will give us option for setup process you can see here it's appear a HP installer is a launching installer so let's see what the second step is giving this setup file you can see it's giving me option to please disconnect the USB cable from the product before connecting so what we will do we will disconnect this printer cable from our laptop because it will give again to configure so we will just disconnect for this setup process and we're going to click here ok and then it will give us option for this installation process so we're going to choose here this first one which is starting here required so we're going to choose that and we're going to click here next and then I'm going to click here I have review and accept the install agreement and then I'm going to click here next and then it is giving as you can see here preparing installing so we'll press, uh, wait for 100 percent and it's giving us option for next we will click again next in here you can see by batteries where you can uh, install this printer in your desktop so in this case we're going to install by direct usb cable so we again we put this cable in our desktop or laptop in usb slot you can see here just simply put and then you will see automatically this uh, software is detecting your uh, printer and then it's automatically installing software in your desktop or computer, uh, laptop now we can see here this printer already installed and it's giving us an option set as default printer and print a test press. so you're going to click here next and then let's see uh, is, is it printing or not you can see here it's a pair printing document 
and that means there is a uh, test document is printing now we will click here finish and here is also giving us options for HP connect to register the product but let me share with you uh, like uh, if you want to print or make us sure that we're going to ignore this all which is not necessary if you want you can register your and we will see in our desktop there is a uh, different uh, set of files up here which is structured key for our scanning we know this printer also supported scan so if you want to scan document you can use this and here you can see a uh, HP Legit, uh, learn center if you, want, if you want to learn more about this printer you can learn from here now let me see is it uh, installing in my computer or not we will click here control panel and then we're going to click here hardware and sound and then we're going to click here device and printer you will see uh, there is a printer is added you can see here if i refresh this you will see uh, this is the printer just now i had set up in my computer so if i go right click over there and if i click here set this printer as default you can see here this printer is default already so we can see also here is a green mark appear that means this printer is default now let me print a test space uh, how we can exactly print going to open my word and then I'm going to uh, type here my channel name so now I'm going to type here my channel name and then I'm going to test is it working or not I'm going to make this larger you can see clearly you can see this space is already I made it larger now I'm going to print so I'm going to click here file print and then we will see there is a uh, file print and here you will see there is a printer is already default so if now I am going to uh, print this uh, pre click print I will see uh, this machine is going to work and here writing a printing document and then I can see there is a uh, print uh, is a uh, paper is came out you can see just now this is how we can uh, just now I have print and it's came out so this is how you can easily set up your HP Laser J MFP M127 FW driver with your computer. So that's for now. Thanks for watching my video. See you next one. Peace.